So let's take a look at the parts. Waters above and below the heavens. Genesis 1.6, God said, let there be an expanse. Some translations have firmament. It's rakiah in Hebrew. In the midst of the waters. And let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse, the rakiah, and separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters that were above the expanse. And it was so. And what was that expanse called? Heaven. The heavens, the sky, Shemayim in Hebrew. So you have here the sky, okay, and you have waters above the sky, and of course you've got waters below down here, but then you have you know, the atmospheric heavens as well. Psalm 148 mentions the waters that are above the heavens. That's after the flood. Did you catch that? Because a lot of people want to say, oh, the waters above, they went away with the flood. See, the, 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 the fur room was this canopy thing, and it was there, and then the flood, it just went away. And... No, it wasn't. According to the psalmist, it's, he's still referring to it. Proverbs 8, when he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep. Isn't that interesting? We'll get to that circle on the face of the deep. When he made firm the skies above. Made firm is amatz in Hebrew. It is the same verb for letting a tree grow firm, hard. Ancient cosmology across the board believed that the sky was this dome over the earth and it was solid. Kind of like the Truman Show. Okay. They believed that the stars were affixed to it. Some of the stars never moved. But other ones did. And the ones that did, this is why the word stars is attributed to the sons of God and to angels in biblical literature. They believed that the stars were animate beings, that they were really divine beings, and then they'd come to earth as angels, but they, were, they lived up there. And those were the ones that moved. Why? Because movement shows what? If something moves, it's alive. Okay? They believe that this is they're, they're, there's a solid expanse over them. Another passage. Job 37, verse 18. Can you, like him, speaking of Job, can you, like him, spread out the skies hard, kazakh, hard as cast metal, mutsak, as a metal mirror. Mutsak is the same word used in the casting of the laver, you know, the tabernacle where they would wash. It's solid. It's also the same terminology used for flint rock. Again, these passages point to the belief that there's a dome, the sky's a dome, and it's solid. And God lives above it, we live below it. 